ili atona yon ni daru o. Hmm. Wala la lo bele yi o la ri o lubadon. Aburo o lubadon. Kola o lubadon ati a won more. Hmm. E ye ni yon wa e ma ba me kalo. Alright my people welcome back on to this channel. Well this is our shocking news. Hmm. Well, onto this crisis, Rox Olubado family as his brother, Kola Balogun, calls for persecution of monarch's children. All right, my people, the news in details. Well, onto this, the domestic crisis rocking the family of Olubado of Ibadan. Or your state is Imperial Majesty Oba Senator Lekon Balogun CFR Ali Okomade second has taken a turn for the worse as his brother, Senator Kola Balogun, called for the persecution of two of the monarch's siblings involved in the alleged character assassination. Well, the former federal lawmaker who represented Oyo South Senatorial District in the night Senate made the allegation in a petition to the Oyo State Commissioner of Police. Well, the petition dated October 5th, 2023 and titled Petition of Cyber Talking and then Criminal Defam Defamation Against Femi Balogun and the Yenka Balogun was written by counsel to Senator Balogun Latif Rahim Esquire. Well, unto this, the first son of the Ulubadon, Femi Balogun, had in a letter made public earlier in the week requested that all funds and assets belonging to the Ulubadon, allegedly under the care of Senator Balogun, be produced within seven days. The letter dated September 29, 2023, was addressed to the former lawmaker while sectional heads of the Aliwo family, the state commissioner of police and the AG commander of the Economic and then Financial Crimes Commission EFCC Ibado Zonal Command were also copied. Well, Olubadon had threatened to disown any of his children and the wives found promoting such allegations against his younger brother, Senator Balogun. Oba Balogun, in a statement which he personally signed and then dated October 2nd, 2023, specifically mentioned the three children of the three children to include Aremo Femi Balogun and the princess Yinka and then. Bukola Balogun. Well, the Ibadan Paramount ruler described the allegations against Senator Kola Balogun as unfounded and a criminal character assassination. However, one of the children, Yenka Balogun, as reported by some online media, insisted that the former lawmaker is sitting on their father's property and cash. Well, breaking his silence on the allegations Senator Balogun stated in the petition to the Commissioner of Police that he was never in charge of the property and funds of the Ulubado. Rather, he claimed that he has been running errands for the traditional ruler and then also using his own personal funds for his well-being. He said he was paying Ulubado back for his past good days to him, having taken good care of him while growing up, just like their biological father would have done. Senator Balogun's solicitors wrote in the petition to the state commissioner of police does it says and i quote we are solicitors to senator kola balogun who is hereafter referred to as our client and then on his behalf and instruction we write this letter to you well it is our client's instructions that on the 29th september 2023 
he checked Aliwo family WhatsApp group and then he discovered a letter signed by Femi Balogun, a member of the family posted on the WhatsApp group. The letter is grossly offensive, obscene, of menacing character and then it was complete criminal defamation of our client's character. Well, he posted that the letter on his Facebook page, Femi Aremo Balogun, Yinka Balogun, on our own published the same defamatory message. Where we would address the issues raised in that in that letter and the publication in Seritim as supplied by our client. Well, in the first instance, our client is not in charge of management of any property of His Imperial Majesty Ulubado of Ibadan land. The sitting monarch being our client brother Rada sends our client on errands and then our client personally uses his own funds his own funds for the well-being of the Ulubado. Since his Imperial Majesty took care of his of him during our client childhood like our father, our client felt having done all this, his Imperial Majesty deserves payback hence our client takes good care of him using his personal funds and uh, not that of Ulubado. Well, on the first issue raised in the letter pertaining to his Imperial Majesty Ulubado of Ibado landed property at Abuja, what happened was that Kabiesi personally negotiated for the sale of that property wherein he agreed with the buyer to sell it for 100 million naira the buyer only paid 30 million naira out of the agreed sum the buyer later did a whole lot of fraudulent and then shoddy things on the property without paying the balance well this made his imperial majesty to institute suit against the buyer the council handling the matter is Wahid Badamoshi Esquire, an Abuja-based lawyer. Well, his Imperial Majesty won the suit in court, but the buyer appealed since the matter is still in court. Our client would not want to comment much on it, but certainly our client benefited nothing from the property which is still pending, still in court. Kabiesi is still ill and earthy. We can confirm all the issues relating to the property in Abuja. Well, our client has nothing to do with the property rather than funding the litigation on behalf of KBAC to protect the property of KBAC. What crime has our client committed by helping his older brother in securing his property? Certainly none. Well, on the allegation that he sat on the funds for the installation of ballets and then Magaji Senator Balogun stated that it was a inus allegation without any basis. It is surprising Femi would level such a heinous crime against our client without basis. KBC appointed somebody to manage the funds on behalf of the beneficiaries, namely His Imperial Majesty Aliwo Family Sectional Eds Ulubadon in council. Well, it was confirmed at a meeting between KBAC and the members of the family and the woman was commended on how she discharged her duty. All these are done on the instructions of KBAC. Well, all that Femi and the Yinka are alleging against our client are all tissues of lies. It was stated in the petition to which was attached a copy of the minute of the Aiwo, Aliwo family commending the woman appointed to manage the fund. Well, on the issue of first bank funds, the petition stated... 
And I quote, our client informed us that the information made available to him by KBAC, his Imperial Majesty, is that the bank took care of his flight ticket to the venue of the said event and they footed his hotel bills. Our client was not involved on how the financing was done on the flight ticket and then hotel bills. Our client benefited nothing from it. Even as a sitting senator, as at that time, our client has enough to himself. Further to the above, when KBAC traveled on the invitation of First Bank, our client felt it would be a right time for KBAC to carry out medical treatment. Our client funded the treatment from his personal purse. This ran into millions of Naira. It is surprising that instead of Femi appreciating him, Femi and the Yinka would rather denigrate him and then call our client a thief by their different publications. Well, but our client has no personal regrets taking care of an elderly elder brother who did what a father would do when our client was growing up since their father had passed on. The petition also addressed the allegation by Aremo Femi Balogun on the issue of royalty paid by former governor of Kano State, Dr. Abdullahi Ganduje. That fund was not given to our client by His Excellency former governor Ganduje, neither did His Imperial Majesty keep the money with our client, it was stated. Well, Senator Balogun also cleared the hair on the controversy raised on the award of the commander of the Federal Republic CFR on the Olubadon. Femi raised issues of award of CFR given to His Majesty. Well, it was our client who facilitated the award for His Imperial Majesty. Everybody knows it does not attract any financial benefit. It is a national award, is stated in the petition. Meanwhile, the former lawmaker also debunked the allegation that he converted onto himself the property of the Ulubadon in Lagos seized by the EFCC from fraudsters who duped the traditional ruler. Well, what happened was that an interim order of for future was granted by the court to the EFCC. There is no permanent for future order granted yet as the matter is still pending in court. How can our clients be accused of being in charge of properties that are still with the EFCC? Well, it is a complete mischief by Femi to malign and then criminally assassinate our client character. Well, meanwhile, draft recovered about 5 million naira were given to our client. He promptly handed over same to KBC, which are paid into his United Bank for Africa UBA account. The records are there. Well, the one-year anniversary celebration upon which Femi has an axe to grind with our client is to say the least surprising. Our client garnered his friends to assist in the heavy expenses that the one-year anniversary plan entailed. Well, even KBC, who was direct, directly concerned, was full of appreciation, but Femi's interest is only to defame our client. And then even our client made personal contributions to the fund. Well, our client is surprised that Femi is alleging him of stealing 34 million naira donated by Bales. Well, in the first instance, our client did not receive money from any Bale. If Femi has evidence, he should bring forth such evidence. All these allegations are to tarnish our client's image in the high of rightful thinking persons in the society. Well, the committee 
of the elected ballet set up a planning committee to organize a befitting ceremony for the event. The concerned ballets raised the funds for the ceremony under the chairmanship of Professor Soji Adejumo and then our co-chairman Oniroko of Oniroko of Iroko, who is the chairman of the committee of the elevated ballets. Well, my brother, my sister, a lot of things had actually been said unto this. Hmm. Well, this is so serious. Well, hmm, wonders shall never end. Crisis rock Olubado family as his brother, Kola Balogun, calls for persecution of monarch's children. All right, my brother, my sister, what do you actually have to say about this? Hmm. All these rich families in Nigeria, now God go help on now. Well, I read the response of Olubado himself in which he rebuked his children and then even threatened to disown any child, towing that dishonorable part. Therefore, Senator Kola Balogun needs not press charge against his nephews for the sake of KBSE who never supported their actions. Well, my brother, my sister, I think this is another strong one that is actually happening in the land, in the country. Well, a lot of people have a lot to say on to this. Meanwhile, let me have your own take on this one. And remember to subscribe for more updates if you are just joining us on this channel for the first time. All right. Thanks and God bless.